Let's try that again. Okay, bit of problem. Well, that's been my day today. It's just dealing with problems day in, day out. We all have them every now and then. But today was a major one, because the studio, we had an alarm system problem, we couldn't get in. Um, so we were stuck outside. We got the alarm guys come in. Even the, uh, we got a secondary door that we couldn't get into either, that was stuck. So we've now got a, another setup for that. But it's all working now. That took a few hours, had cancelled some clients. But that's life. You just deal with the stress, deal with the problems. Take one step at a time. And then I did just a little while ago doing this video. Uh, I had a problem there. Lost the link. Again, part of life. More fun. And my third issue I had today. I uh, went for a part for my car. And the tank is just being fabricated. That was promised last week, but a little bit late. Again, that's life. So, what I was talking about. Eat well. Train smart with intention. What I mean by that intention is, with a purpose, with a reason why you're doing it, and believing why you're doing it. I was going to I covered it in the eating part. Basically, eating, get off the rubbish. Good intention that you're going to have better food, healthier food. Get rid of the sugars. I keep saying, sugar, sugar, sugar is your problem. Eat better. Better food selection. There's so much food out there. Try and put all the processed junk. My rule of thumb for me is 8 20. 8 percent good stuff, 20 percent rubbish. So I'll get away with it. But it works for me. For some people, you've got to get the rubbish completely out of your system. Because it's on your lifestyle, what it's been like. And that's a factor. Intention of a lifestyle is so important. Now, training. For me, it's always been in the gym world. You know, hitting the weights out. But the last two years, that's changed. But my training always, philosophy has always been with intention to train smart, be smarter not get injuries and that's what's been governing me down my journey of my health and fitness is when I train in the gym I don't have injuries yet I still see people have injuries they talk about it they boast about it have this shoulder problem this pet problem bicep tear whatever it may be to me why to me you shouldn't have injuries unless you're doing contact sport training and fitness should be about fitness and health and well-being we shouldn't have joint issues and problems but because some people train and they train for ego, they do cause problems. If you're new to the training world, take time. Learn what you're doing. Learn the technique and follow what you should be doing. Don't get too ambitious, but enjoy it. Have the intention of where you want to be in your training. As we get older, we need to be wiser. So to me, weight is not necessarily the answer. If you like walking, do it. Go for a walk. As I said before, two, between two down poses, Speed up the walk, wrist walk, go walk faster. And when you get to your second one, relax, recover, and that's it. Do that several times, you'll be surprised how much your fitness level will go up. Go up an incline, a gradient, nice thing. You know it's like when you first started, that was hard. But just practice every now and then. You'll be surprised again how much your fitness will improve. Fitness isn't about abusing the body. Fitness is about working the body to get the optimal a result for your recovery and for your lungs and your heart and your respiratory. There's so much more to it. So try and avoid annihilating the body. Try and avoid hitting those heavy weights if you're getting into the gym. Technique is always going to be number one. That's why I've changed my whole training philosophy now. And instead of using traditional weights, I'm doing functional patterns, totally different dynamic. But to me, it's far superior and better because I'm now doing things that I couldn't do in the past. So I'm loving it. That's my journey. Your journey is about you, what you want, what you want to achieve, and think about it. If you're used to go to the gym and you hit the weights, then do it. But be sensible how you do it, so you don't have injuries. Because when you get an injury, what happens? You can't train. And what happens? You can't train. You get depressed, you get low down. And what happens thereafter? You start eating the rubbish. So remember, it's staying in a good mindset. Lifestyle, think about your mindset. Think about how you can be really positive about yourself, what you want to achieve. It's all down to you, getting that path, getting that lane. But if you need help, everyone needs help, then DM me, send me a message. I'll send you a simple plan, how to get your focus. Even a simple plan for your food, what you need to do. Just look at the junk, get rid of it. It's that simple, it can be achieved. You'll be surprised in one week what you can achieve. Other than that, have a great day, be positive, don't let problems get you down, chip away at it, one step at a time and enjoy the journey. Take care.